Welcome back to Morning Mika. There's no doubt that anxiety, depression, and addiction to technology are making genuine relationships harder to seek out and find. So I reached out to you and the Know Your Value community to get your suggestions on finding solutions to this. And we heard from hundreds and hundreds of you and the vast majority attributed this loneliness pandemic to cell phone usage and social media. So many comments that get off the phones. For example, Nancy on Instagram writes, people are buried in their phones or playing video games. They have literally no social skills. We need to teach basic social skills. And Elsky suggests, put an end to self-checkout in stores so people have to interact with humans. I mean, there's some others as well. Huma, what do you have? <laughs> Well, I have a couple. So first of all, I think that, you know, my son is in sixth grade going in, uh, into seventh and they st did a, a prep session with the rising, the you know, kids ahead of them in school. And one of the things the seventh graders told the sixth graders is that when their parents take their phones away from them, they're much more focused on doing their homework. And so part of it is balance. Mm. But another theme that I know uh, and suggestion we heard from our viewers mm -hmm. was to involved. Um, for example, Lizzie on Instagram suggests join a political group or cause you believe in or work for a candidate, mm -hmm. volunteer or uh, or join a sports group or groups, art centers, and you'll meet people. Mondi writes, That's nice. her solution is follow your passions and get involved in the community in ways that fulfill who you are as a person and light you up. If you don't know who you are as a person or love yourself as a person, start there and then follow your bliss. Run as hard as you can toward your calling and then look around and see who's running as hard as you. It's bound to happen. Don't effing settle. Simone, what do you think about that advice? <laughs> I love that. I love it. It's very, it's like a, a motivational shake. I'm here for it. You know, yes. I think that w we need the motivational shake. Um, the, the, there are feelings of hopelessness that, ac that accompany these feelings of loneliness. So I love that advice. Um, viewers also weighed in on some workplace solutions along those lines. For example, Jessica on Instagram said that, you know, folks should go back to work in person a few days a week. Know your coworkers, especially people in their 20s and 30s. And Jenny wrote, get rid of the overwork mindset. Many are too tired after work to hang. Now, Jen, I agree with this advice. Do you think that's accurate? I know so many people that are like, oh, I just want to zoom in, but people need to go to work and then go out after, hit the happy hour. I totally agree. I mean, look, there's a lot of benefits. Technology is amazing. But here's the thing you miss out on if you don't go show up to the workplace. You miss out on meeting mentors. You miss out on making friends with people you work with. You miss out on just being there and present to be able to take advantage of opportunities. And maybe you miss meeting your future spouse. I don't know. You don't have to meet them at work. But I totally agree with that point. Uh, we had a couple more things from viewers. So, some, so many of our viewers said communication is key if we want to fight this loneliness pandemic. No question about about that. So Carol on Instagram wrote, we have to talk to young adults and educate them on what's going on. And Kelly said, we can fix it by listening. How are you? How is your day? The most underrated question ever. Such good advice. And Karen had an idea too. She wrote, girls need to start asking boys out. Boys are immature yes. and even more so after COVID. I am just going to say, this is such good advice. It doesn't have, you're not proposing to them. You can say, let's have no. coffee. Let's have a drink. Yeah. Let's go grab dinner. It, it doesn't have to right. be overly formal. Women, take op the opportunity. Take, seize the reins Walk here. Walk a dog. Uh, but Mika, what do you, I know, whatever. Mika, what do you think? I, I think that has to happen. We got to move forward here. The, I also think people um, who have the ability to be leaders on this, so like uh, one of you uh, read advice from a viewer about getting involved in political yeah. campaigns mm -hmm. or community things. Guess what? A lot of those things are online. They're remote. So it's like if you if you run a community organization, be a leader and require the community to show up because we got to get people and and i say this to to companies and places where people work bring them in come on now i i think hybrid is the future 
you got to have some in person. Yes. Um, mental health, of course, is a huge aspect of this. Um, and I heard from uh, two therapists. I want to close by sharing. Uh, the first therapist I heard from is Joanna Kaminsky. I actually know her, so she texted me and she said, this. The subject of dating is super complicated on so many different levels. Yes, young people are feeling lonely and disconnected, but often they don't understand themselves or don't want to feel uncomfortable. What could be done? Join more community oriented systems. Have your eyes open. Get out of your comfort zone. That's a big one. Talk to others. Stop obsessing about what is happening on social media. Be uncomfortable. Join clubs and go to the places that are different than you know, and you might find them interesting. And here's the funny one, guys. Joanna's, uh, I mentioned I know her. Uh, her husband, Peter, he's also a therapist, and he's the guy who stopped me on the street, okay? Oh, so there yes. you go. Here he is. He's the one who stopped me on the street when I was crying. And he wrote a blog post because he's a therapist as well. And, and his is kind of introspective here. Just as we are encouraged to reduce time from our digital world, we can individually make the choice to engage at least at times in situations that encourage an organic approach. Join the proverbial hiking club. Mix and mingle somewhere. Somehow, while you take a trial sabbatical from swiping on a dating app on your phone, there are already some promising signs that this is happening. Become attracted to someone over time rather than front-loading the experience by expecting it from the start. Seek the flesh and blood experience rather than a digital facsimile. Yikes. Mm. That's kind of scary, but it's true. We need to see each other in person and mm -hmm. feel the reaction you get from talking to someone and being in their presence. So a lot of great ideas. Thank you guys so much. Um, we want to continue this important conversation and hear more solutions from you. Visit us at Know Your Value, the social pages, and give us your input today. And be sure to follow co-hosts Jen Saki, Simone Sanders Townsend, and Huma Abedin on social media to hear the latest on what's going on in their lives and on their shows. And that does it for this edition of Morning Mika. We'll be back soon on YouTube and Peacock.